Hello there. This is the family doctor. Got to pick up my medicine bag. Hello, Doc. Oh, hello there, Judge Windsor. Saw you driving home. Thought I'd just go out of my way a couple of blocks to see you for a minute. Well, that's mighty nice of you, Sam. Uh, <clears throat> yes, you see, Doc, you're about five days behind on this month's payment on your note. What? Well, gosh to Friday. I'd plumb forgot all about it. Say, thanks, Sam. I'll uh, be right down in the morning. All right, Doc. Didn't want to have to foreclose on you. <laughs> Junior. Huh? Why don't you speak to Dr. Adams? Hello. Now, that's no way to greet an old friend like Dr. Adams. Say, how do you do, Dr. Adams? How to do, Dr. Adams? Hello, Junior. Now, what you got there? Looks as though you were mighty interested in that book you've got. It's a book on chemistry. Got it from the library. Oh, well. You going in for science now, Junior? Yep. Uh, yes, sir. Glad to see him keep his mind busy with something. Anything to keep him out of mischief. And this seems to be it. He's rigging up a shop out in the old stables. Grant! Oh, hello, honey. I've seen you once before. Now, dinner's getting cold. Oh, good evening, Judge. Good evening, Mrs. Adams. Good evening. Hello. Well, our dinner will probably be waiting for us, too. Good night, Doc. See you in the morning. Say good night to Dr. Adams, Junior. Night. Junior! Uh... Good night, Dr. Adams. Good night. Good night. Good night, night, night. Good night. Now, let me see. Have I got everything out of the car? Grant! Huh? Oh, yes, honey. Uh, coming right away. Right away. Be there in just a minute. <laughs> You see? Eh? Hmm? What? Yeah, what do di- I see? The dinner didn't get cold. Well, no, of course it didn't get cold. Why? Because I kept it in the, in the oven so it would keep nice and warm. That's why it didn't get cold. Now, Lou... If I told you it is in the oven keeping warm, I'd like to have never got you in the house. So I told you it was getting cold. Uh-huh. And the prospect of a cold dinner certainly isn't very appetizing to any man. Well, <laughs> You're just like all men, Grant. You never realize that a woman likes to serve a meal when it's ready. Yes, I do. Not keep it hanging around for hours like a restaurant. Oh, now, Lou, gosh, to Friday. <laughs> well, that's right. You know it is. Well, tonight's post bugle is in on the sofa. Go on in and read it. I'll let you know when I'm ready to have you drive the dishes. All right, honey. Oh, the post bugle. <laughs> never any news in the sheet. I don't know why I keep on taking it. Yes? Huh? Did you hear that? Hear what, Lou? What do you mean? Well, that siren. There's a fire somewhere in town. Hmm? Wait. 
Yeah, you're right. There is a fire. Well, I'll call up and find out where it is. No, Lou, I'm the member of the Cedarton Volunteer Fire Department, not you. I'll call up. Well, all right, Pat. Go ahead. Hello. Oh, Mabel. Uh, where's the... Huh? Oh, over... Yes, I see. Well, I... Hmm? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, Mabel. I'll... Huh? Yeah. No, no, I haven't. Grant Adams, where's the fire? Shh, be quiet, Lou. What's that, Mabel? Oh, all right, yeah, thanks. Yeah, all right. Yeah, goodbye, Mabel. Where is the fire? Hmm? Oh, over at the Windsors. It's just the barn or one of the outbuildings, though, not the house. Well, I guess I'd better get on over there anyway, because it's... Get on over there? Well, I should say you will. You hop right in that car and drive as fast as you can. Sam, how did this happen? My gosh, I don't have any idea, Doc. Isn't this terrible? It'll cost me a pretty penny to replace that stable. Replace it? Why, you haven't any use for a stable now, Sam? Yes, I have. Have two fine horses coming from the east next week. Three-year-olds. Going to train them for racing. Well, uh, maybe the boys will be able to save enough of it so as you can rebuild? No, I don't know, Doc. It's going pretty fast. The wind's in the wrong direction, too. Half the force is playing a stream on the house, so that won't catch fire, too. Sam, where are you? Sam? Yes, Edna. Oh, good evening, Mrs. Wynn. Good evening, Dr. Adams. Sam? Yes? I can't find Junior. What? You can't? Why, he was at the dinner table when Abraham came and told us about the fire. I know it, but he just isn't anywhere in the house now. I've called upstairs and down. He he just doesn't answer me. Sam, do you suppose that he... That he's in the barn? Yes. Nonsense. He's got more sense than that. He wouldn't deliberate. Listen... Oh, it's Junior! It's Junior! Junior! Junior, where are you? Help. Junior! Oh, wait, Sam. Help. He's in the stable. Oh. Hey, Doc, where are you going? Doc, don't go in that stable. You'll be killed. Dr. Adams! Has Dr. Adams gone into that? Yes, he's gone into that inferno. Oh. Where's Faith, Edna? She's down at the church at the young people's club dinner. Thank heaven she isn't here. Well, say, how does this happen, Judge Winter? What caused the fire? Oh, hello, Bill. Edna, you know Chief of Police Benson, of course. Oh, yes. yes. How do you do, Mr. Benson? Good evening, Miss Windsor. Judge, I want to get to the bottom of this. Yes. What happened? Was it arson? No, no, no. Of course not, Bill. No. Well, I don't know how it happened. Well, I'm going to find out right enough. And if it's what I think it is... Well, what do you mean? Well, I ain't saying much right now, Judge, but I've been watching some mighty suspicious-looking characters that have been hanging around the Bayou Theater of late, and I don't like the looks of them. No, hush up, Bill. Why... Right. Well, they're nothing but actors. Actors? What do you mean? Uh... I mean Abe Myers is putting on a special show next week, and those people are just actors he's hired. Oh, oh. I see. Well, you can't be too cautious, as the feller says. Oh, I wish the doctor would come out of there. The doctor? Dr. Adams? Yes. Where is he? He went into the stable. What? Yes, we thought we heard Julia calling for help, and Dr. Adams apparently thought he was in there, so he went in after the boy. Oh, Sam, I wish that... <laughs> Oh, my boy, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, my now, now, boy, now, Edna, my just boy. wait, maybe. Come on, you into the house. We can't do any more out here. Come along. Hey, 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 hey Judge. Huh? Look. What? Edna, Edna, look. It's Dr. Adams and he has Julia with him. Oh, thank you. Doctor, we thought you were killed. Oh, Junior, you're safe. Oh, darling, my boy. Oh, come to Mother. Oh, I'm all right. Why, you're soaking wet. Your clothes are sopping. And so's Dr. Adams. Uh, uh, where have you been, Doc? Well, what happened to you? Let's have the details. Oh, well, uh, <coughs> Junior and I went swimming. Swimming? My what? Yes, uh, we thought it was a good idea at the time. Didn't we, Junior? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to tell him, Dr. Adams. Tell him? Tell him what? When Dr. Adams found me, I was out in my laboratory, and when my clothes were on fire, and Dr. Adams, he grabbed me, he jumped into the cistern. Oh, Dr. Oh, my Adams. my golly. Now, now, Junior, I thought Doc, we decided you... you know were... what's in my heart right now. We can never thank you. Oh, well, I, I brought Sam Junior into this world. I guess I couldn't let him leave it so soon. Come into the house, Dr. Adams. We'll get you something dry to put on. Oh, no, thanks. I'm all right. I, 
I'll just drive on home. Well, I guess there's nothing more I can do here. Good night, all. Good night, Dr. Adams. And, well, thanks. Good night, Good night, 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 Dr. Adams. There goes a real man. Grant Adams, M.D. Oh, he's a hero. That's what he is, a hero. Yeah, he sure is. Well, i got to get started on my investigation. got to find out how this fire started. Oh, I can tell you how it started. Oh, Why, you can tell how? Well, I was working with my chemistry, that's all. That's oh, all? Chemistry? Young man, you come into the house with me this instant. No, oh, thanks. Well, he's, well, he's had a narrow escape. Now, don't... <laughs> chemistry. That's a good one. <laughs> well, I guess I cleared up that mystery quick enough. did he get up there without my hearing him? Uh, hello, honey. Why, I didn't hear you come in, Grant. No, came in the back way, put in the car in the garage. Why, well, you changed your clothes. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. The others sort of smelled of smoke. Oh, I see. Well, tell me about the fire. Fire? Oh, it wasn't much. The Windsor stable burned down. Oh. The judge is going to rebuild it right away soon, though. He's got a couple of horses coming from the east. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess I'll read the post bugle. Here it is, Grant. I was reading it. There isn't a thing in it, though. Hmm. Just seems like nothing exciting ever happens in Cedarton, doesn't it? Hmm? Oh, yes, honey. Yes, it does. I like it, though. I like it nice and peaceful. Don't you? Yeah, I would. You would? I mean, yes, Lou. Nice and peaceful. Yes, that's it. Cedarton's a great town, all right. <laughs> nice and peaceful. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Oh,